Hello everybody, this is Oz Guest here, and w today we're going to talk about Super Mario Odyssey. And today, I don't know wh where am I really going to, you know, point out here, but I'm just going to say my thoughts and, like, other stuff. So, uh, mo mostly, like, a discussion, so. We all know, like, Mario Odyssey is, like, you know, uh, the new entry in a Mario series about, you know, the casual Mario saving Princess Peach from Bowser type. And the thing that's weird that I found in the first place that they're going to get married. Peach and Bowser, and this isn't the first time they actually tried. Bowser tried this in Super Paper Mario. You know, they tried, they attempted that, but I'm pretty sure that's in a different Mario world or dimension. Since in Mario Luigi Paper Jam, they're two different people. But right now we're talking about Odyssey. So, you know, instead of collecting stars or shine sprites, you collect moons, and depending where you are or the destination that there are different colors and I don't know how many you're supposed to collect in each world but I'm thinking there's di there's certain ones that you pick and if you collect th that one like you know the level builds on after you get that one so yeah I don't know how they're gonna work or how they're gonna do it but soon when the game comes out we're gonna see like you know the how the moons you know how they actually what their purpose is besides you know Maybe fueling up the hat, you know, ship since in the E3 Mario Odyssey game trailer that we, we saw, you know, when Mario collected all the moons, they they went inside that little, you know, the spherical, you know, glass thing where they all went in. So I'm guessing they're like your, you know, power fuel or something like in Mario Galaxy where you use the, the power stars to go to different galaxies. So that's that's for the moons, but right now we're gonna talk about the destinations. Right now we only got revealed a few of them, but I'm guessing I'm not sure if they're gonna be more or not because the depending on how many moons there are in each in in each level depends how many levels there are. And I'm not complaining. The game could be long because it is a Mario game, and you like it like a Mario game or not, you, you still have tons of fun with it. It is technically a sandbox mode like Mario 64 or Sunshine so so yeah we don't know we already have New Donk City which is called the Metro Kingdom and we already have you know the Sand Kingdom where everything cold in the desert type like that where everything looked like you know Mexico type of weird thing like that and also we have you know a weird the Wooden Kingdom and we also have the Food Kingdom I'm guessing that's what it's called and we also have like the the Dino Kingdom where you could turn into that T-Rex, but I'm not sure how many are uh, missing or if there's any left. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna have di more different destinations besides these two. And obviously, we might have you know a lot a you know lava or a dangerous area like that for Bowser Castle, since in almost each Mario game it ends up something lava related or something. So. What what else can we, we should we talk about? So, the thing, the thing that's you know kind of weirded me out how like Bowser's not using his children to you know help defeat Mario anymore. He's using these rabbit these rabbit rabbits not rabbits rabbits. So yeah, and those four of them I'm guessing each place or each time you encounter them they're gonna get stronger since there's only four of them and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more than four stages in this game. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure it, it, it's, they're gonna have more than just those guys. They might, they're gonna have different counters with other type of bosses, not just the rabbits. But I don't know what type of bosses they have there. I know they have the Mega Wiggler, and they have that weird ice statue head thing inside the ice cave. I don't know if that's inside a new world or if it that's inside of the Sand Kingdom. But still, I don't know because I haven't done that much research on this, and I kind of thought I'm I'm just saying what I looked at the the two trailers, and each gameplay I saw in Nintendo Treehouse. So, yeah, you could you know you could buy stuff inside the crazy cap shops or whatever they're called, and that that got me thinking, what is what is the what did Cappy come from? If you don't know who he is, he's a little hat Mario wears. 
So yeah, where did Cappy come from? How did Mario find him? As you can see, there's another, you know, air, like another world in the game where everything's kind of black and whitish. And I'm guessing that's where you find them, but I don't know. That's why I saw him get introduced in the Super Mario Odyssey E3 trailer. But I don't know. That's my opinion. But still, I don't know where he came from or like why is he helping Mario, but still, it's a good touch to bringing companions back. And the cab allows you to, you know, possess people, obviously. That's the main gameplay and style of it. Also, it helps you break bo boxes, grab coins and items and stuff. And, you know, it's it must, mostly, you know, if it, it's like 70% of your, you know, attacks. Besides Mario's casual, like, you know, jumping on enemies and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe all Mario's, you know, moves return, like the long jump. And, you know, the jumping, wall jumps, and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting to see. Like, you know, they're bringing back, like, you know, how Mario Galaxy had it and Mario 64 did. So, so the last thing I want to talk to talk about is, you know, how, like, the entire story is in Mario Odyssey. I don't know how it begins or how it's going to end, but still, I'm interested to see what it is, so... You know, we could, as you can see, Bowser is trying to marry Peach, and I'm surprised he didn't do it like all the times he did when he kidnapped her. Besides just sealing her in a in a cage all the time. So, for all I know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm assuming that Bowser is actually committed to this. Like he's actually gonna marry Peach, and he knows Mario's gonna be after him, so he's gonna be prepared for that, and trying to stop Mario at his you know trying to save Peach again for like what the a thousand time and that's weird though about and as you can see from the trailer we can see Mario wearing a tu white tuxedo with a white top hat same thing like Bowser but like you know less pimpish so what I'm thinking is that Mario either it was gonna marry Peach in the beginning or Mario is going to marry Peach at the end of the game Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they aren't going to get married. You know, they're going to stay as, you know, like friends and stuff like that. Even though, you know, Mario saved Peach many, 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 many times. All you get is a kiss, a thank you, and a, and some cake. Not that type of way. I'm talking about the dessert. So, I don't know. Maybe Nintendo's trying to do a twist at things, you know. Like, maybe in the end of the Mario, Mario game that, like, like since Bowser's defeated... The wedding stopped, but maybe since Mario is wearing the, you know, the wedding outfit for him, he's deciding to, you know, get married with Peach so Bowser could have a reason to stop, you know, kidnapping her all the time. And if they do, it's going to leave a weird gap in, inside of me because, one, how is it going to affect the rest of the Mario games? And, and two, like, you know, how are they going to represent it in the games as well? But still, if they do do that, it's going to be kind of weird, but, you know, cool at the same time, you know, expect something different. But for me, I'm kind of used to, you know, a little, the kiss on the cheek, a thank you, and the game ending. But still, the story is like one major part of this that I need to see. Same thing when I was talking about Sonic Forces. We don't know what's going to happen, but the gameplay, you know, is pretty, you know, observative. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to get more, you know, in the in the past few months and then past these three months about Mario Odyssey or maybe we won't because you know the game's exactly like three months away so yeah hopefully you guys you know pre-order the game if you're a Nintendo fan or just you know like Mario in general for me I'm definitely gonna get this game this is the only reason why I'm getting Nintendo Switch that it's a portable con like a portable console and it looks pretty cool so yeah that's you know the, the I'm just doing a little discussion here so, yeah, what else should I talk about besides these, you know, things? So, we already covered the gameplay type, the moons, the kingdoms, and the somewhat a little bit of story that might happen. So, all we, so all we know is just, you know, we have to wait and see what's going to happen and stuff. Because right now, I have nothing else to say. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And... You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to do more Mario Odyssey, 
But I might do like, you know, something related to it, but not a discussion because I don't know what else they're going to do with it or show us in the future. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.